Congratulations, Cypher. You've struck the final blow to the Terror Cell. Survivors will be unable to regroup. Ties to the Eagle's network have been severed. There's only one catch. Destroying the network hub sent a ripple through the Hollownet. Shadow Town security momentarily failed. I took the opportunity to escape. You're a dead man. Your anger is understandable. Keep it in check. Damn son of a sow. Soon one of your watchers will notice the glitch. You'll be asked to find me. Hunt me. But I don't want you as an enemy. Tell your watcher that I remain imprisoned. Once I'm safe, I'll share my secrets. You'll know everything intelligence keeps from its ciphers. I'm not interested in anything you can offer. You're not thinking clearly. Do you want the details of the eugenics program that bred myself and Watcher 2? The aliases of your friend, Kaleo Janis? You sleazy freak. Think you can play? You are dead. You are so dead. It's yours. All the secrets. You only have to help me escape Narshadar. I'll hunt you down, you smug creep. I'm sorry you feel that way. No, I should be going. I have to get to my ship. You have an incoming call from your masters. Goodbye, Cypher. Cypher 9, this is Watcher 2. I'm routing this call through a half dozen city subsystems. We intercepted a set of terrorist transmissions, reporting the destruction of a company called Verve Gen. I've sent agents to scour the company's systems for additional data. It seems the Narsha Dar cell has been neutralized. I can confirm that the cell's been destroyed. That's excellent, but there's something that concerns me. As I was monitoring, I noticed some unusual network activity. It's possible Shadow Town's security was breached. I'm worried about Watcher X. He'd take advantage of a fault like that. I'm going after him now. He called me to gloat. Damn it all. We can't have a rogue watcher loose in the galaxy. Head for the spaceport. I'll try to delay any departures, but be fast. Narshada doesn't acknowledge Imperial authority. Don't worry. He's not getting out of the city. It's good to hear you say that. Watcher 2 out. That's the spirit. Let's kill that filth. Look around. Note your target. Check him for weapons, held, concealed, improvised. Now, scan the rest of the area. Does he have allies? Are they hiding? Are you outmatched without realizing? I'm disappointed in you, Cypher. I offered you information that could have given you power over your masters. You might be right. But I don't trust your information. My fault, maybe. I should have shown you the codes. Pity. I owe you my release, but I have no qualms about us fighting. If you'd like to back out, you may. It's too late. For both of us. As you like. Goodbye, Agent. Now we reach the end. You won't make it out of this. No one ever does. Yes, that's done. I'd kick around his body, but the bomb in his head might go off. Too bad he decided to play you. If he had dealt straight, bet he could have told his keeper's real name. He missed his chance. I have no pity for him. Yeah. For a guy who thought so much of himself, he really wasn't that smart. Cypher 9, this is Watcher 2. Please respond. I need a status update on Watcher X. I'm ready to put out a general alert. The situation is resolved. Watcher X is dead. That's... that's excellent news. Well done. I'll downgrade our security status. Operations will proceed as normal. For the record, Cypher, I don't enjoy violence. But I'm extremely happy that Watcher X is out of commission. Why does he bother you so much? We had nearly the same training. But he was better than me. Smarter. I know what he was capable of. I'll send a crew to collect Watcher X's corpse. 
His mind and body are imperial technology. Consider the matter closed. Records of his presence here will be erased, and you're not to speak of this further. I'll debrief you back at the ship. This is Cypher 9 to Watcher 2. Please respond. Contact authorization denied. This is Imperial Automated Defense Corps Unit CR-97. By order of Darth Jared, Lord of the Dark Council, your ship is now in lockdown. Cypher 9. The last time we spoke, I called you to Korriban. Did you misunderstand what a privilege that audience was? If I recall, you tried to have me murdered as some sort of test. Many would beg for the opportunity to serve one of the Dark Council. You've not impressed me, Cypher. You've given me no new information since your mission began, about the murder of Darth Jadis or otherwise. When you receive my orders, you'll do as you're told, or I'll have you flayed alive, along with everyone you know. Understood? I assure you, my lord, I've reported all my findings to intelligence. Very well. Perhaps it's not you I should blame. Now, my peers on the Dark Council acknowledge me, but they don't yet respect me, not like they did my father. To secure my position, I must have my father's secrets. The mysteries Darth Jadis never deigned to teach me. I think you're in over your head. How dare you? You're not Sith. You're certainly not my father. I was his only apprentice. But he favored force-blind advisors over his own daughter. Of course, most of his advisors died with him on the Dominator. But not all. Fjord Yanol stayed behind. Fjord Yanol fled to Nar Shaddaa. Do you think Yanol knows something about the terrorists? It's conceivable, I suppose. He might have shared their ideals or conspired with Jadis' rivals. The end result is the same. My sources have found his hideout. You will catch him and bring him to me. Until then, we are finished. <laughs>